So should Harry Wambasaka be sold this January transfer window? Drop your comments below. My name is Rob Dukan, guys. Welcome to the United Way. In this channel, we upload videos solely about Manchester United football content, watch alongs. If you are into such content, make feel free to subscribe there yeah, because I mean, yeah, we will have some good time. We already have some a lot of friends here, so uh, we are a small channel, but um, yeah. So in this video, I want to talk about Harry Wambasaka. Harry Wambasaka was born, bought in Manchester United from Crystal Palace in 2019, a player which was known for his very hard tackle and defensive ability, a player who came in to be a proper Manchester United right back, something we have missed since we we, lo we, uh, we lost, uh, we lost, he is not dead, he started when uh, Gary Neville stopped his career. So Harry, um, Harry Wambasaka is, has been one of the most favorites in his first two years for Manchester United, being one of the better uh, tacklers in the league and having uh, a total performance defensive wise so of always 70% in terms of uh, the league. But we do know that uh, with Eric Tegna coming to the team and wanting a more proactive and a more ball possession uh, football, a more attacker which will always uh, well, come... Um, Help to contribute in the bill of play, Harry Baka, Basaka fell behind De Diego Dalo, rightfully. So, um, all from the past couple of weeks, we all know that Harry Wan Basaka has uh, walked his way since after the World Cup. It is very important for us to know that after the World Cup, there have been a shift in, in strategy. There's been a shift and some surprise that most of you would have not um, seen this coming about players like, we know Lisandro Martinez ha has, um, Lisandro Martinez ha ha has, uh, I I'm not sure if he has lost his place, but Lisandro Martinez is not the same player which uh, has starting game for United for certain reasons. It could be generally because that he is not fit, but we know Ten Hag is someone who we have given the confidence as Manchester United fans and also all the ma the massive pundits which we have in these stakeholders as Manchester United is someone who knows what he's doing. He understands the players. He knows the psychological part of football and we trust him. And that's why when he's signing a player which is not popular, even as Van, Wolf Van Volkers, we still support his decisions. So uh, Harry Wambasaka has come to, uh, since he's been in Manchester United. He has been with managers who are really, uh, I mean, basically with Ole Gunnar Soska and Ralph Ragnick. And these are two managers who, with Ole Gunnar Soska, he was a, clearly a defensive player, a defensive manager. And uh, as Ralph Ragnick, he was a transit manager. So uh, Harry Wambasaka has been here and it's been a very tough time for him of lately, as I said earlier, because he had played very few games before the World Cup. But coming back after the World Cup, Vasaka was given a chance due to the injury which they, they, uh, they low had during the World Cup. And he has been fantastic. The game, the, the, and, and let's, let, let me just say this, guys. The reason why Harry Wambasaka has been good also is not also because of him. It's because of the manager, Ten Hag, that we have that has put a lot of energy, tactical know-how to his players. He's not the only player who has emerged from the, his um, from being uh, just uh, another player to a star player for Manchester United. We can talk about Luke Shaw, who has oh, now been a central defence midfielder, whom, whom I think Ten Hag is trying to give an image most of you said I talked to I remember in the first video I talked about Luke Shaw when he was in the central defense uh, midfield some said oh Harry Tegna is sending a mission to the message to the board that he, he doesn't want Harry Maguire he wants he wants he wants um, he wants uh, players that who are who, who who are playing the kind of football he wants who are good on the ball who are swift who are technically up front but, so, but, but that, that might not be the case the thing is that let's face it Luke Shaw has, is, has, and always been a very good technical player, but he never had a coach who would give him that confidence. Talking about uh, Ten Hag again, what he has brought to the team, which is that discipline, which I keep saying, I keep saying on the, ch on the channel that, you know, with Ten Hag, the way Ten Hag came to the club, many of uh, the pundits, you know, when I talk pundits, I mean football people, not only in Manchester United. We're talking about his inexperience in the Premier League. He hasn't won anything in the big, in the big stage. But uh, most of you guys who watch, foot, who watch football, who knew if Ten Hag, you knew Ten Hag better than most of the pundits that you guys really bow on them. them. I've given an advice to my, my followers that it is preferable to listen to Manchester United fans, if you're a Manchester United fan, than listening to a top, top 
ex-footballer who doesn't watch Manchester United games. I'm talking solely on Manchester United content. So you shouldn't be fooled by what the media is manipulating you because most of the channels who talk about Manchester United, these are people who sleep and drink in Manchester United content. It's yours to choose. So my, the, I just wanted to make this short video about Harry Wambasaka, which I think that if he can improve his technical abilities, we know he's from a very disciplined family. I watched a video on YouTube. I've seen Harry Wambasaka's father. He's a proper African fam father who understands the difference about bringing up a child in a very tough uh, environment. And uh, his persona also has proven that Harry Wambasaka is someone who doesn't, he is not, he will never be the, the, the stubborn potato in a group or in a group of in, in within a group of players he is pro, a, a, a proper professional who accepts things and takes things from the chain on on his chain um, on the chain uh talking about his value harry wambasaka today is rated for something like 20 this is not me saying it's transfer mark which i saw you can see that below here for 20 for uh 20 uh, million uh, euros which is 80 million pounds uh, today in the market and uh, we know that Crystal Palace was in an advanced uh, position to 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 loan him back this January. This is something which I think is very unlikely now, considering Haram Basaka. And not this is not me saying it. The game I remember the two game two uh, there was a game uh, against um, was this again the game the game we had two uh, the, the last two games we had when Haram Basaka contributed one of the games he contributed in a corner in in a cross where he was technically. He was he was like careful in that action. He crossed the ball and he, 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 then it, it became a goal. I think that was Rashford who scored that goal. And after that game, Harry Tenak talked about Harry Wambasaka being a, 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 a good player, a player that has improved in, bottom, in front of him. Uh, I think Harry Tenak has a way that he motivates players, not only benching them, but testing their, their commitment, not only to the club, but testing the psychological part. This is something that nobody is speaking in here on the uh, on the community, on the football community. There are some coaches that are not very good at testing their players. Eric Ten Hag is about Manchester United. He doesn't care. He doesn't care what a player thinks. He pr he cares more about what a player thinks about Manchester United Football Club. So I just want to ask you guys, guys, should uh, should should uh, Haru Masaka be sold? Should Harry Rambasaka be sold? So please drop your comments below because I really want to hear from you. If you are a Manchester United fan and you're not another spam, so please drop your comments below. I really want to know, should my Harry Rambasaka be sold? Because before the World Cup, we're talking about a Delo re replacement and Harry Rambasaka's performance from Manchester City, which he was very good, one of the better players in the team. Uh, and also the three games which he has started, he has been just flawless. He, he has improved massively. We, we have to agree that. So that's why we are in a situation where we are talking about this player. And I wanted to make a video to give my apologies because I thought Harry Basaka, it was time for him to leave. I thought, but he has proven all of you wrong, not only me. I think the next stage will be Harry, uh, Harry Wambasa, uh, will be Harry Maguire, which I think with the players we have, he will, he will not be able to match them in terms of the quality that they have in uh, uh, yeah, in Manchester United. So, guys, please tell me what you think about this video. What you think about Harry Wan Basaka, and what is your position on Harry Wan uh, Harry Wan Basaka? If you were the manager of Manchester United and someone comes with thirty million pounds for Harry Wan Basaka, are you going to give Harry Wan Basaka? Because today his value is valued for twenty million pounds, and uh, yeah, I would love to hear your opinion on that. So, please drop your comments below. And by the way, guys, today is my birthday. Thanks for all of you who have been wishing me happy birthday. And uh, yeah. Uh, it was great seeing talking to you guys. I have a lot of friends in this community, in this small channel. We are just fans. We have nothing to prove. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.